Hi everybody, I'm Barb Steinberg, teen life coach in Austin, Texas. I work with girls and one of the things that I wanted to talk to you today about is girls and their bodies, which I know is a really huge subject that I'm going to talk about in just a few minutes. Um, for girls in particular, during adolescence, this time of change in their bodies can be a tricky time. Things are happening that they don't necessarily want or like. Maybe they're getting attention that they do want or don't want. It's a lot to take in. And so I wanted to talk to you about helping your daughter have maybe a more positive relationship with her body earlier on. Um, so how can she create a more positive relationship with her body? One of the ways that she can that I talk with girls about is listening to her body. So learning how to have a conversation with her body, to actually talk to it and ask it, what do you need from me? What do you need today? What do you need right now in this moment? It might be, you know, are you hungry? And if you are, what type of food do you feel like? You know, does my body want protein? Does it want carbohydrates? Um, and, you know, if, if it's anything like me, you know, my head is saying, no, I want sugar, but my body's like, no, I want something healthier. Maybe your body is asking, maybe she can ask it, you know, are you thirsty? Do you want something to drink? Um, is my body in need of rest or quiet time or sleep? You know, do I need a 10 minute nap or do I need three hours of sleep? What is my body telling me? Is my body restless? Does it need to move? And if so, what type of movement does it need? You know, do I want something, do I just need a good stretch or do I need to go for a run? Do I need movement like jumping on the trampoline? What do I need? So getting quiet for a minute, holding that conversation with your body and your body is actually really, really wise. I talk to girls about this all the time. Um, and bodies are really good communicators. If you ask questions on the front end, you don't necessarily have to, um, your body doesn't have to get loud with pain or something like that to let you know that it needs more from you. So teaching her to listen to herself more rather than the outside world telling her what she needs to do. You know, like, no, the only type of exercise is something that's really hardcore. You got to do, you know, boot camp or you got to run for four miles. Well, maybe that's not what's best for her body. So asking her what feels good to you. What is your body telling you? Um, bodies are really wise, like I said. So teaching her also to notice all the good that her body does for her, you know, being able to be present in the moment and being able to be grateful for um, what her body can do for her. So, you know, even being grateful, my body can walk or my body can do squats or my body can lift heavy things or, <clears throat> you know, my body's not in pain. And being able to go to that place of gratitude I think is not, doesn't come, it's not, you know, second nature to adolescent girls, but teaching them that can be really important. Um, and then a question for her that I love to ask is, if, you're, if you were on a deserted island and you lived alone and you didn't have any friends, no peers, no magazines, no Instagram, no internet, how would you feel about your body? If you had no feedback coming in from other people in the outside world, how would you feel about your body? And would you do anything differently? Would you exercise less? Would you wear baggier, more comfortable clothes? Would you forget about makeup? Would you, you know, eat more bread? What would you do? Um, it's, a, it's an interesting conversation to have with your girls. So helping her to have a more positive relationship now can certainly ease the pain later on in life when she's in her 20s, 30s, 40s, and so on. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. Give me, give me a ring, give me a shout um, at barbsteinberg.com and let me know if you want me to come talk to your group, if you want to gather all of your friends or come to your school and meet with your parents and we can talk about anything under the sun related to teen girls. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.